10 Facts About Several's Asylum 1. Era of Construction Several's Asylum was built in the early 20th century, opening its doors in 1913, and it continued to operate for nearly a century. 2. Large-scale institution The asylum was one of the largest mental institutions in the United Kingdom, capable of housing over 2,000 patients. 3. Overcrowding and poor conditions Several's faced severe overcrowding and lacked sufficient resources and staff, leading to deplorable living conditions for patients. 4. Controversial treatments. Like many psychiatric institutions of its time, Several's employed controversial treatments such as electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, and lobotomies. 5. Patient mistreatment. Reports of patient abuse, including physical and emotional mistreatment, were common, contributing to concerns about the quality of care provided. 6. Decaying buildings. The asylum's abandoned buildings have deteriorated over the years, creating an eerie and unsettling atmosphere. 7. Urban exploration. Several's asylum became a popular destination for urban explorers, who sought to experience its decaying and haunted environment. 8. Paranormal activity. Many visitors and urban explorers have reported paranormal activity and ghostly encounters within the asylum's abandoned structures. 9. Closure and redevelopment. The asylum officially closed its doors in 1997, and some of its buildings have since been demolished or repurposed. 10. Haunted reputation. Several's asylum has gained a reputation for being haunted, with numerous ghost stories and legends associated with the site, adding to its eerie allure. One significant event in the history of Several's asylum occurred during World War II when the institution faced a unique set of challenges brought about by the war. This event sheds light on the adaptability and resilience of the staff and patients during trying times. With the outbreak of World War II in 1939, Several's Asylum, like many other institutions across the United Kingdom, had to navigate the impact of the war on its operations. The staff faced increased pressure as many of their colleagues joined the war effort, leaving behind staffing shortages. To address this challenge, Several's Asylum, like other institutions, took creative measures to continue providing care for its patients. Some staff members who remained at the asylum undertook additional responsibilities, often taking on roles that were typically outside their job descriptions. Patients also played a part in the war effort, with some involved in activities like knitting socks and scarves for soldiers on the front lines. This involvement in productive activities not only contributed to the war effort but also provided patients with a sense of purpose and belonging during a tumultuous time. The wartime experience at Several's Asylum highlights the resilience and adaptability of both staff and patients as they navigated the challenges brought about by World War II. It showcases the importance of maintaining a sense of community and normalcy even in the face of extraordinary circumstances.